God don't like ugly. I didn't do anything wrong. So she can bash me all she wants to, but God don't like ugly. And it's going to come back on her for doing this. A hundred percent. So somebody keeps asking me and ask me, did I think Leilani did, did I, do I think Leilani done it? I'm going to tell you this, that a mother that lets her kids outside, that doesn't watch them, that numerous people have seen, that they, they're bruised, they're dirty, and there's plenty, plenty of evidence of this. You tell me what you think. I told uh, uh, Billy Joe my concerns. I sent her stuff. And she didn't listen to me. So she can't blame anybody but herself for what has happened. That was recently said by the babysitter of missing boy, Quentin Simon. Now that's a really interesting quote from the babysitter. She said that in reference to the grandma, Billy Joe, and clearly there's beef between her and the grandma of Quentin. I'm not saying it means she's involved, but it clearly shows me that she doesn't have much respect at all for Quentin's grandmother and for Quentin's mother as well. She seems to blame the grandmother, but really, could it be that it's more the mum's fault than the grandma? Or should the grandma have never ever left this poor little boy in the care of his abusive and neglectful mother? And is that why the babysitter is pointing the finger at the grandma? This is such a bizarre case. I've seen so many red flags so far. I'm quite fascinated to see all of the dynamics between the family and the babysitter. It's extremely odd. And I really hope no foul play is involved. I will continue to look into this case. I have been watching the most recent press conference today and some of the things that the police said were extremely interesting. What are your views on this case? What do you think happened to Quintum? I'd love to know your thoughts. So please do pop me a comment below and as always I'll look forward to reading your views. Let's all pray that Quentin is out there safe and that he hasn't come to harm.